Kelly Clarkson yelling out her name Kelly Clarkson style is one of the reasons that Zendaya's second win for Best Actress in a Drama Series at the Emmys was very different from her first. Zendaya, Euphoria. <laughs> Last time I did this, I did it in my living room, right, y'all. Right, I know. I was chilling. <laughs> I had this thought in my head that it was like, if anything went wrong, I could just be like, ah, and slam the computer down. You know, it's like, but I can't do that here. So. Yeah, instead of chilling with her family, Zendaya had to deliver a speech in front of a room full of a lot of her peers, but she nailed it. Wow. Um, to all the incredible actresses in this category, I'm so honored to be beside you. Once the show went to commercial, Zendaya headed off stage with presenter Kelly right behind her, and I guess Kelly didn't leave quite enough room in between herself and that Valentino gown as she stepped on it when Zendaya briefly paused on their walk down Emmy's aisle. And yeah, there was the fashion, no staying at home this year, there was a red carpet to get to. Zendaya shared this shot of her dress on Instagram with the caption, I'm on my way, Emmys 2022. Boy, did she arrive. Stunning, in a black strapless Maison Valentino gown, Look at the walk, hands in the pockets, that's a good walk. Now she might have really nailed that walk because of a little bit of comfort that she revealed to Access Hollywood. This is a great exclusive. Yes, please. Um, I'm wearing my socks. Oh my goodness. And my oh, shoes. Yes. And, I, and I have yes. like my shorts on. Yes. Uh, Zendaya, you are a girl. Keeping it comfy under there. Those socks kept her still dancing after hours on her feet. Now Zendaya was solo on the red carpet. Mr. Tom Holland was not there, but that didn't stop media outlets from asking about him even when they didn't ask about him. Okay. Who's the first person you text when you get this win? When I get this win, um, I, well, my, I didn't have to text my mom because my mom was already there. Nice. She's here tonight, which is very special. Um, and I text my boyfriend. You didn't shout out Tom. Was that not, no? No? No, <laughs> no, he's part of my loved ones, uh. see? Now, technically, she didn't say loved ones in her speech. Thank you to my friends and family. But Tom, it's okay. I'd let that one go. So after being the youngest winner ever in the Best Actress in a Drama Series category last year, she made more history with her second win. She is now the youngest two-time Emmy winner ever, and the first black woman to win Best Actress in a Drama Series twice. The first black actress to win the category, Viola Davis, retweeted Zendaya's speech last night saying, congratulations to the beautiful, talented Zendaya, proud, so after some more photos taken with her twin Emmy, Zendaya told E.T. her plan for the after parties. So I'm gonna do a little wardrobe change. My idea of a wardrobe change is like, I'll change my t-shirt and maybe I'll reapply deodorant. This is Zendaya's version of a wardrobe change. Oh my God. Oh, you she looked amazing at the HBO after party in another strapless Valentino gown, but it read differently on camera <laughs> and it had a plunging neckline. I'm gonna take it easy, okay. you know, I'm gonna have an easy night. Well, Zendaya did not go easy on us with that second look. Whew. But yeah, incredible win for her. Uh, I am shocked that Laura Linney is going emulous for playing Wendy Bird. I mean, for such an iconic character. I mean, that character name trended uh, the day that the final episodes of Ozark came out. So I'm very shocked um, that Laura, yeah, doesn't win an Emmy for uh, Ozark. Now granted, Laura's doing fine. Sure, it has four Emmys for other roles. And yeah, that doesn't take away from Zendaya's accomplishment. She gave an incredible performance. But yeah, what did you think of Zendaya's historic second win?